I believe that men have it the hardest when it comes to just life in general because it's like okay nobody's gonna save you unless you got rich parents that give you money or whatever nobody's gonna save you as far as like us women if not saying that's who I am but if one day I don't want to work I'm sure I can find a dude that's gonna take care of me absolutely just for that I'm like yo I'm kind of lucky to be a woman yeah. and I'm not saying we don't go through our share of issues as far as like safety and you know stuff like that but I believe it's harder to be a man at all times and she's absolutely right Men, for the most part, don't have anybody to bail us out. Hey, this is Raul of Please Act Right. In this video, I want all you young guys to learn this one lesson. Never, ever, ever, ever move into your girlfriend's house with her. Because the minute something goes wrong, guess what she's going to do? Put you out. And for all you guys out there looking for women to go 50-50 with you, are you sure you want to do that? And this is, I feel like, a really important message to get out to these to men. Mm -hmm because I do believe that a lot of men have the perspective that you have, which is bring that 50. And I think men have to understand what that means and what you get when you expect a woman to bring 50%. The check ain't coming in no more, so he can't help me with the bills no more, so him and his son finna go. Like, I can bring 50. Yeah. And I know women who can bring 60, 70. Okay. Okay? But as a man, mm -hmm. do you really want what... 50 plus brings. BC. Because 50 plus brings a lot of energy. Ain't no more checks gonna come in. Yeah, you know, definitely gotta go. It doesn't bring neck energy, it's bringing head energy. And so when we talk about women being the neck, men being the head, right? Mm. Like it's, it's bringing more head energy. And so understand that, right? If you want a woman to bring the table and then some mm -hmm. to the table, you get what you pay for, literally. That is true. Now, let's first be clear about this 50-50 thing and how it got started. Men started saying women need to go 50-50 because women wanted equality. They wanted equality across the board. However, we began to realize that women only wanted equality when it benefits them. But when it benefits the man, they don't want the equality. So men started saying, if you want equality, then pay half the bills and pay half on dates. That's where the 50-50 started. It did not start because men were being cheap. Most of the things that you hear men say are reactions to what women started. Just like the Passport Brothers movement. The movement started because women said they don't need us anymore here in Western society. It was a reaction. So to all you young fellas out there who are not knowing, never move into a house or an apartment with a woman where her name is on everything. Get your own place because at any given moment, you might become homeless. The check ain't coming in no more, so he can't help me with the bills no more, so him and his son finna go. Him and his son finna go. Little baby, pick your daddy's shoes up, cause you finna go too. You finna go with him. Your check ain't come, so you and your baby gotta go. Yup. You finna get him out of here. You finna get him out of here. I promise you they get all your towels. Come on. Go. You finna go. Ain't no more checks finna come in. Yeah, you definitely gotta go. You can't help with no bills. That's right, little baby. Put them shoes in the bag. Put it in the bag. So his check didn't show up and she automatically throws him out. And then look at the baby. He looking at her like, why you keep calling me little baby? You know my damn name. Put it in the bag. Tell him how I paid your bills though. For the yeah, bag. you, yeah, you, you paid my money. bills. But oh, you ain't got no more checks coming in, so that means you can't help. So you just heard it. She just admitted that he was paying bills. But the minute she heard no more money was coming in right away, look what she does. Uh, little baby, put that, uh, put them shoes in the bag. Get your jeans up. Crazy. I hope another man come here and help you out. I'll trust you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. She was about to tell on herself, but she caught herself. She said, don't worry about it. And then she was about to say, I already got your replacement on standby. You know, another financial donor. Your baby blanket. I am. All your stuff finna go. All your stuff gotta go. You can't help with no bills no more. Uh -huh. See the treatment you get? She's just throwing this stuff on the floor. You know, well, what did you record? Like, because you got to go. What did you record? Her, you need my bags? What did you record? There you go. Well, stop recording, you know. It's childish. Like, Bye, because you finna go. Yeah. You about to go. 
I said and made you breakfast this morning. Make sure you and, you, you and your kid ate. And you just admitted he's been paying bills for the last few months. Move. This PC getting sold so oh, I can pay my rent. Bro, I'm trying to take my PC. What is this doing? This PC is getting sold so I can pay doing? my rent. Please go. What is you on, man? I'm trying to take my PC. Leave that PC. I'm selling it. So You're my not rent selling my PC. Yes, I am. Well, you know yes, I am. You can't wait for me, dog. Yeah, he is ridiculous. No the hell you not gonna sell my PC. All that private information that you use, your username and your password, that's on that hard drive, I'll leave. But you're not keeping my PC and you sure in the hell ain't selling it. Especially since I've been paying bills for prior months. Well, this is one example, fellas, of why you get your own place. Now, let's take a look at a woman trying to scam a man and he doesn't fall for it. So, she decides to put him out. She was angry hey, be because I refused to adopt her kids. Be safe. All this is because I won't do some type of adoption. I see you keep praising all these men that do adoption. I'm not doing adoption so you can take all my money. I'm not doing that. No, they ain't. He don't do shit. No, he don't do nothing. And that's why you mad. That's why you mad. No, he don't do nothing. That's why you mad. That man married somebody else. That's why you so busted and disgusted right now. Yeah. Trying to look like her. Yeah. So if you haven't figured out her scam yet, she was trying to get him to adopt her kids that she had by another man so she can get him on the hook for child support. Fellas, you better know the law. Any woman that lives with you where you are the breadwinner and she has kids by somebody else, at any given point, she can go to the child support office and get you on child support. And she can do it when it's somebody else's kids. I guess she didn't know he knew the law. Don't your stomach her size for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. How you know? You watch all her stuff? You watching all her stuff? That none of that is not that, that's just making you look crazy. Let's go. Let's keep it coming. Yeah. I'll let that stuff sit there and go buy me all new shit. Yeah. I'll let that stuff sit there. And if it get burnt up, then that's oh. Hundreds of thousands of dollars you're gonna have to pay. Oh yes. Believe that. Keep them coming. Let's go stack it out here. Cause I'm gonna get it all. Oh yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. This is a perfect example of how most women in Western society function. It's do it my way or the highway. So let's think about this for a second. What does a man gain from adopting children that he didn't make? Absolutely nothing. What does she gain if he adopts the kids that she made by somebody else? Child support. Child support for every child. So what have we learned today, children? Don't move in with a woman. Get your own place. Don't adopt children that you didn't make. Now. Here's another lesson I want you young people out there to learn. Never, ever, 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 ever buy a house with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. If you never listen to another thing I tell you, please listen to this. Stop buying homes with your little girlfriend and your little boyfriend. I did two consultations today on this issue. Well, I really can't even call it a consultation. All I could tell them was, well, baby, you in the wrong place. This is a family law firm. I practice family law. And I don't know if anybody told you something different, but according to Texas law, y'all two are not family. Y'all going buy all these houses together is no different than you getting a house with your college bestie or buying a house with your barber or buying a house with the man who always carry that case of water for you up the flight of stairs. Same thing. Now, I'm not saying don't buy a home unless you're married. Not everybody wants to be married. Not everybody's going to end up married. And home ownership is still a great thing. What I'm saying is don't buy a home together. If you're a female or a male and you're in a relationship with someone and you see that house you want, go get that house. You see that condo? Go get that condo. What I'm saying is don't get it with them. Am I making sense? So just in case y'all don't want to be together one day, y'all can just part your ways easily and don't end up in civil district court. Because you know what is a shame? Ending a relationship with somebody who you never even tied yourself to legally like spouses, but you end up spending the same amount of money like you would in a divorce because y'all went and bought a house together. And there you have it. Get your own place. This way, if something goes wrong, you just go to your own home. The end. The young lady who's putting out the young man with his child, I guarantee you, she's got another guy on standby to help her with those bills. That's why she was so quick to put him out of her house. And the woman who's trying to get the man to adopt her kids, trust me when I tell you, as soon as he leaves, she'll be looking for another donor. I mean, sucker. Now, you're probably thinking, well, 
I'll just move her into my house with me. My name's on everything. Well, that can backfire on you too. Gotta go. She gotta go, Tasha. I'm tired of you. I've been dealing with this for too long. Now, before anybody got anything to say or try to judge me for what I'm doing, I'm gonna tell y'all what's really going on. I can't do it no more. I done told this woman seven times to leave my house. Get out, it's over. I don't wanna be with her no more. I can't be with you. You don't wanna do nothing for yourself. She don't wanna better herself. She wanna sit around and play the victim and act like I'm the problem. I'm not the problem. This all the stuff she gotta go. I asked her seven times, get yourself together. I even tried to make it work. She living with me, I'm paying all the bills. She got her kids here. I didn't even accept her, her kids. I don't even got no kids. I didn't even accept her kids. Always trying to play victim. A woman trying to play the victim? Is that a thing? She don't want to work. She pick her kids up, drop her kids off to a mama house while she go out and be in the streets all night. And I'm already paying the bills. And the up part is, I got a homie. His wife got a business. She was going to hire her on the spot to answer the phones for her business, $20 an hour. I tell this dumb hey, my homie wife got a business. You know, all you got to do is answer the phone, $20 an hour. She going to look at me and tell me what the fuck I look like. I'm like, what do you mean, what the fuck do you look like? $20 an hour, you're telling me you can't work for $20 an hour to sit on your ass? That's when I knew I couldn't work no more. That's her kids' stuff. Uh, it's like, I can't do it. Her kids tear my house up. You know what I mean? I love them kids with my dear heart, but I can't do this. Sometimes you get fed up. I'm waking up, I'm going to work every day with attitudes, getting into it with my boss, arguing with my employees. I mean, my coworkers. And it's like, I just can't do it. God, please forgive me for doing this. I never meant to be this way. Like, you know, you know, I'm a good man at heart, but sometimes you get fed up. So what do all three of these women have in common? They all just want to use men for their money. Just like they claim women from overseas want to do with passport bros. The first guy was paying the bills and the minute his money ran out, she put him out. The second woman, she wanted him to adopt her kids so she can get them for child support. And the minute he wouldn't do it, she put him out. Now this woman wants to live off this man while she does absolutely nothing but go out and party. So he had to put her out. And this, ladies, is why so many men are stepping away from dating and marriage altogether in Western society. So what do you think this is gonna lead to in the near future? So what do you suggest the women in the West do if everyone's advice is for men in the West to look elsewhere for a wife? What happens to all the women in the West then? Well, that one study we referenced was said by 2030 or something, 50% of the women will be without a man. So that's, that's the direction we're heading because the men that are looking for those traditional values are starting to go overseas. And then two, the other half of the men are just checking out completely. They don't want to deal with women at all. So this is going to be a big issue that women are going to deal with in the future as their options dwindle. You guys have been living in a fantasy land. You think that it's not gonna happen. You think it's gonna, there's gonna be some kind of bailout. There's gonna be something else. There's gonna be nothing. People right now are being put on the streets in Dallas, Fort Worth. The constables are moving people out, putting their stuff on the front yard. States across the country, because why? There's not enough money to give to people. And if you're a, if you're a woman and you have a regular job, if you were, were not an essential worker during, 2000, during the pandemic, you are at risk. I was in Neiman Marcus the day they shut the world down, and I had never seen panic like that before. And all those women's eyes, because many of them have been with that company for 10, 10, 15, 20 years, all they had done is retail. Neiman Marcus is on the verge of bankruptcy, and the only thing that saved Neiman Marcus was the pandemic. And when the world stops again, many of these 40-year-old women are not going to have a job to go to and have no skills in the environment. Ladies, winter is coming. We are heading into what I'm going to call the long night. It's not going to just be three months. It's not going to just be six months. We're talking about a global reset for the world. August will be it. August, when the schools open, the people who have not been working will be forced to go back to work because the children must be in school. The daycares that are left will be there. What are you going to do if you go and have a job and you've been downsized, you've been automated. How many people have been to a McDonald's recently? And you'll notice that the most of the 
front register staff is gone, it's kiosks. The largest two employers in our community of black women are federal government and retail. Retail is dead. We have 26.4 square feet of retail space for every American. The next largest developed country has six. We have four times, six times too many retail spaces. This is why you're seeing dying malls across the country. And what's going on? Because so many women are not being told to think about their long term. This is coming as a surprise. This is why women in Korea are saying we need to, the, the, the society is not set up for single people. And what the society needs to do is re-engineer itself for singles. Bullshit, it's not gonna happen. Basically what, the, what, basically what women in Korea and Japan are hoping that men, single men who had no family, no children, and have been locked out of the sexual marketplace because of this hyper hypergamy will somehow come and save their lives. Not going to happen. Hey, somebody to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.